up y'all welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be about the transition from undergrad life to graduate life and it sounds uh, i don't know if it sounds simple but the process really isn't that hard so i'm not going to talk about okay you got to pay this person do this you got to do this at the next like get this paper no i'm not gonna do that but what i am gonna all right okay okay but what I am going to talk about is like how it could feel to transfer from one chapter to the next to go from like being I guess not necessarily on a smaller spectrum but to from a smaller like chapter possibly to like a bigger chapter that's like made up of people that are from everywhere right so before we get too deep into this video make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the shay squad hit the bell too so you can get notified when I upload new videos and things like that and let's go all right so basically I'll talk about my kind of experience and then I'll kind of give, I guess, an overview. If you've been following me for a while and actually kind of watching the videos in which I kind of detail my personal experience, um, you probably already know that when I first graduated, I did not um, immediately go into a graduate chapter. I set out a year and it was really for my own benefit. I won't say that I, it was just, my undergraduate experience was kind of, it was a lot for me and like when I got to the part where I was like graduating and I was holding several positions in the chapter, it was just like a lot on my shoulders and I just had to take a mental break for a second um, and I kind of had to find, not find myself, but like I had to kind of get back to the point where it's like I was feeling kind of overworked, you know? And I had to really just figure out what I wanted to do when I was trying to, you know, get into grad school. And there was just a lot going on at that point. So I just needed to take some time off. And then once I was able to take some time off, I was able to kind of really focus and figure out what is it that I'm looking for in a graduate chapter? Who am I more comfortable with? And, and things like that, right? So it takes a lot of time and research. Like, um, my, you know, my organization has a lot of graduate chapters. Okay, these cars are loud AF today. Oh my God. So my organization has a lot of like options when it comes to graduate chapters. There's several in the Houston area. There are several in like the outskirts and surrounding areas. So like Cypress, Spring, um, Baytown, uh, Pearland, like uh, Mo City or Missouri City. Like a lot of, there are a lot of different chapters within the area. So it's like, Pretty much they're all kind of same distance but it's like you have to figure out exactly what chapter it is that you're looking for if you're looking for a big chapter so you can kind of just be a number and not necessarily have to put in a lot of work everybody in my area knows there's a specific chapter where you can really go to and feel more comfortable in that aspect i didn't want to deal with that right I wanted to kind of be in a bigger chapter but i kind of also wanted to be able to grow and and do things to where um I was able to kind of en enhance my, my leadership skills and if I wanted to hold a position I didn't want it to be to where um, there was always somebody older than me or somebody more experienced than me that was always going to get the position that I wanted right so I wanted to be able to have that you know sh that that option at least so um, it took me about an, a year actually um, when I started working full time my office was completely filled with like aka so it was people in this chapter people in that chapter my sister is in this chapter so it was like it was a lot of different options for me and it gave me time to actually kind of figure out exactly what I wanted to be around who I wanted to be around and things like that so um I decided that in that January um year the January of that year I want to say well yeah 2015 so January 2015 I was like I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna you know carry the money that it would take to uh reactivate take all the documents that I would need to reactivate. And if it just feels right, I'm gonna reactivate today. So I end up walking into that chapter meeting and I pretty much know nobody. It's just me, I'm here and I'm like, this is what I'm wanting to do, cool beans. I'm here and take my money if, you know, if this feels right. So lo and behold, um, walk in and I see my pro fight literally sitting right there like as soon as I walk in she's turning her head looking around we had not discussed this and when I saw her I said that's my sign this is where I'm supposed to be at I'm supposed to be right here and she was like yeah I'm transferring in today this that and the next and I said you know what this is meant to be and so that's how I actually just ended up I hadn't even visited any of the other chapters that I planned to. I was like, this is where I'm going to go because it's where my profile is and this is where I'm going to feel comfortable because this is one of the profiles that I feel most comfortable with. So that's where I went and that's where I'm at and that's why I'm pretty much going to stay. And yeah, I'm content. So basically the whole transition process about that, it's 
a lot because um, first off, you're younger, right? And so we're operating, or when, you, when you're coming straight from undergrad, you're operating on a smaller, more condensed type of basis. No matter what, when you're undergrad, you always have to take it back to somebody that's in the graduate uh, organization, right? So you have to kind of get approval through them. And I mean, at the end of the day, they have the final say so. So they're, you're operating on a completely different way. So these people that you used to look up to as like big sisters, or like I have to look at you as like a, a parent almost, you're uh, in a position of authority over me, I have to get approval from you. Like now you're kind of on the same playing field. So it's kind of weird. And one of the hardest things about it is getting people that are in these chapters to like now see you as somebody like they're they're equal at this point like granted they may have more years in the organization they might have more years in this chapter but at the end of the day you know if you read your documents and you read your documents and you go get the certifications that they have you're just as eligible for whatever position that it is that you're running for as they are you're just as much of a member in this organization as they are so it's like getting other people to understand that that was pretty much the hardest thing for me because I still feel like that to this day. Um, sometimes we'll go into meetings and things like that. And granted, I I like it, I embrace it, but um, like my older so my older uh, sores will say stuff like you know the uh, the young sores club or the young swords, and they'll literally be talking about a specific group of people you know that I'm associated with because we are younger than most of the other people that are coming in. It's because you know we kind of had to find each other and, and and link up and say you know well if we want to make any you know motion and things like that i know that i have you to second you know i know that i have you you have my back i have your back like it, it's really things like that so yeah we are really tight we are really close we are really cool but it's because we had to kind of get together and find each other and make that bond because we were kind of like the first few years of course i was kind of lost in it like i had my pro fight and then my neo eventually came and so um it's just kind of hard in that transition of uh, figuring out exactly where you fit and where you belong and things like that. Um, so kind of once you get a balance of that and um, I think things will be easier. That's really the hardest part for me, in my opinion, the getting other people or the older members to respect you and understand that, yes, I might be a younger sore. Yes, I might have crap. Yes, I might have crossed after our centennial. But at the same time, I still bring a lot to this organization just based off the fact that I am a younger sore. And I know what you know, you're trying to recruit newer people. The newer people are necessarily people that are your age. They're my age and younger. Right. I mean, and if you're crossing them into the chapter, it's your job also to retain these people. And there are people still that are crossing into the graduate chapter that are my age. So chances are I can kind of, you know, entice them to say, you know, I'll kind of bring you on and put you under my wing and take you to these events and things like that if you're trying to network and, you know, kind of just find your way in this little Greek life thing. But I think that's really the hardest part, getting the older people in your organization to really respect you and understand that I know what I'm talking about. I have an opinion. I have a voice and I'm going to use it. Right. And another hard thing about it um, is like, say, for instance, if you're like me, my chapter is about a 30 minute drive for me. Right. So that's just to where we have our chapter meeting. So the commuting is kind of hard when you're undergrad. Everything is kind of like central. You're normally going to be meeting on campus. You're normally going to be, you know, whatever you at is pretty much where you at. If you're going to have a, a party, it's probably going to be on campus or somewhere close. Um, with my chapter, it's not like that. We have people from all over the globe. So while we do have all these other, you know, uh, chapters in Houston and surrounding areas, there are people in these other areas that are like, okay, well, we can have our literal stuff at these other places to kind of appeal to these other people to see if we can, you know, get their support. So it's it's hard trying to, you know, commit to all that, the time commitment, the distance commitment, the, the money commitment, um, as far as like, um, paying for gas and paying for your food wherever you're going like it's it's a big commitment it's a big adjustment um but it's definitely something that is worth it i would say uh the one thing to make sure that you don't do is burn out um when i went into the organization i already know where my strong points are i know that i am very technically savvy i know that i can do graphic design i know that i can you know help you with your facebook your instagram things like that like i know my part and i play my part well so if they need me, they know where they can find me. If they need my assistance, they know where to put me at. Put me in the technology part. So when I first kind of joined, my second or third year in the chapter, they put me as a co-chair for uh, the Global Outreach Committee. I was like, bro, 
high key. I don't even like going outside, to be honest. I go outside to my car, get in my car, go where I gotta go, get into wherever I gotta go, and then go back home. Like, I don't like being outside. I am just sit outside for fun. I don't like bugs. I don't like being hot. I don't like being cold. Like, I just, I, I prefer to be in my house um, or in somewhere. So, I did that for that year, but I kind of just pushed myself back to where I needed to be. So, at that point, they're like, oh, we need somebody to do, oh! You need somebody to help you with the website? I got you. You need somebody to make the logo? I got you. So find your strong point and contribute through that. So if you're not good at that, if you have another strong point, like if you're good at planning parties, maybe you need to be on like a membership committee and try to do reactivation drives and things like that. You know, if you're good at, you know, if you're like good at like the health stuff, maybe um like I have a store that's really good at, you know, she has her own like Zumba company and she does things like that. Like she's very sit fitness savvy and, and like all the dances and stuff like that. So when it comes time for stuff like that, they know who to call. It's her, you know, they have, uh, I have a store that's really good at photography. If they need pictures taken, then we know to call her. Like find your role and contribute that to the chapter and i promise you your transition will be way easier don't just come in and say i'm gonna just be here i'm gonna be a number on the list no find a way to contribute back to your organization and it doesn't necessarily always have to be monetary it doesn't always have to be you coming physically to every function if that's not who you are then that's not who you are a lot of us are still building ourselves finding ourselves finding our way through our careers in school like so we can't literally commit to being at every function but at the same time you have to know exactly where you contribute where you stand um what you can do to contribute back to your chapter and let that just be that you know if you can't make it to every function then don't feel bad about it but you know just figure out what you can do if you can't physically be at that function but you can come up with the program for it do that it's it's ways to help and you not necessarily have to be at every function the transition from undergrad to grad can be smooth but it's really a mind thing for you you have to kind of mature yourself to kind of match these other older members who have been in this chapter for a longer time than you you're used to the way that your chapter operates and granted it's only one of you but as, as time goes by you'll find people that are kind of like-minded like you you'll find people that are like your same age people that like the same things as you and then from there you'll be able to kind of you know have a safer, not safer, but have a healthier transition than just coming in, joining for that year and saying, I'm not going to be a member of this chapter anymore. I'm not going to be financial no more. So yeah. So I hope this video helps. I hope it makes sense. Um, just definitely go ahead and make sure you find out what you like to do. Don't make people force you into doing things. Don't feel like you have to be obligated to do certain things just because you can do it. You can say no um, and people will just have to be okay with it. I, I learned that and I, I don't want to say I learned it the hard way but I definitely learned that you know I know button works and you have to press it sometimes you have to no 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 I ain't got it I can't do it I can't help you so once you figure that out once you get to that point you'll find yourself in a better transition and I, th I guess things will be a lot easier for you so I hope that answers your question subscribe if you have not already done so I would greatly appreciate it hit the notification bell so you can get notified when I upload new videos and all that good stuff I'll see you in the next video peace out